Wilson from Hudson Valley Bookkeeping. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to memorize your rent invoices so you can get paid faster. All right, let's get started. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna teach you how to create a recurring transaction to um, automatically invoice your tenants. So let's go to sales. Oh, I need to mention that I am in accountant view. I just click the gear icon. I don't care for business view, so I teach in accountant. Okay, so we have a list of the tenants. I'm gonna pick this tenant as who I need to automatically invoice. And this is something I always put in here is like the lease end date. So we're, let's say we're only gonna need to put in for four months. We'll start January, 2023, and we'll, we'll put in this scenario, okay? So you click new transaction, click invoice. Okay, and then you would want this, you need an email in here to make it automatically email the client. Um, I'm just, I'll just put in one of ours. Just so you can see what it looks like. Okay. So we're gonna make this for January 1st. Make sure your due date and click create recurring. You can do this, let's say three to four days in advance. Click automatically send emails. Start date would be January 1st, end date. It's gonna end after four occurrences because I said we're saying that at least will expire. Notice I have a product and service that matches her address. I like to make for each unit and have its own income code. And so we're gonna say 1950, okay. Again, I also have, I'm doing classes. I would pick the correct class. Okay, so it's gonna start three days in advance on January 1st, and it will end after four occurrences. So this won't go out yet. So that is now set to happen three days before January 1st. And if you wanna check your recurring, you would go up here to the gear icon, click recurring transactions. And I have other ones in here. Here it is, Melissa Bond. It's gonna start on January 1st. You can click edit here. It'll take you back into that. So what I like to do as well is, let's say we know she is going to continue, then what I would do is start a new one for 5123. And let's say her um, bill goes up $50. automatically send, make it three days in advance on the first. So now we'll say 0501, 2023 after 12 occurrences. That just came up about automatic reminders. Those are dangerous. The reason they're dangerous, I see, I like them, I don't want them on. Because if you're not really good at making sure your payments are posted all the time, you will send people these and they may have paid you. So unless you're up to the minute, I would not have reminders on. I can show you how to send a reminder. Um, I'll show you in a different one, but don't do that. I had just had a client um, one of my clients and our company paid his bills and the check had cashed and they sent a reminder 
to pay the the invoice and I didn't even understand what was going on. It was because they weren't doing a good job themselves of keeping their books up to date. And then QuickBooks was sending out these reminders. So just understand that, okay? So now you save the template. And now we'll have two different, we have this Melissa Bond and we have this one. So this one will go through January, February, March, April. And then May, it'll start again. So again, on like a commercial lease, you have a five-year lease, you could set all, I would recommend setting all of these up all at once. You know, do year one, year two, year three, year four, get them so that you know that that part is handled. Now, let me show you what I said I would teach you about a reminder. Okay. So right over here, this is, you know, just a demo file for teaching QuickBooks. Here, you can go on any invoice here and you send a reminder, okay? So it's saying send that. The other thing you can do is if you're allowing QuickBooks payments, um, you can share the invoice link. You can copy this and paste it into an email and that'll help you as well. But so that's how you do a memorized transaction for QuickBooks online to invoice your tenants. Um, I hope you found this helpful. All right. Have a great day.